Hello watch fans. Birth Year watches here. Rather a special piece here. This is a circa 1945 Amica Suravan or Severin. You know what I'm like with, or subscribers will know what I'm like with languages. I murder them. This is Swedish for sovereign and there's actually a little A. With the A there's a little crown above it. So why does it have that in Swedish? Well, these models, and there was a few different types, were sold by the Swedish government to boost the wartime economy. Sweden were neutral in the war, but that doesn't mean to say they were not affected by the Second World War. And this was almost like a war bond that you could wear. So the Swedish people would buy the watch from the Swedish government, it puts money in the Swedish government's coffers, meaning that they could do everything the Swedish government needed to do. So it's, sometimes it's described as a military-issued model. It wasn't. It was absolutely the opposite because Sweden were neutral during the war. But what it is, is it's a cousin of the Dirty Dozen Amiga and it's got some very cool features. I'm going to go run through them. You've got these syringe hands with radium in. The dial has radium too. We have checked that it is radium uh, using our Geiger counter. It definitely is. Some people that that alarms but really there's no evidence of even watchmakers getting uh, ill from radium poisoning the people that painted the dials did suffer uh, because they were licking the brush and then painting it and then licking the brush again and basically putting radium on their tongue and then you know, it was horrible uh, interesting story the radium girls it's been made into a film uh, you can actually see a line towards three and nine where the hands have been left for a long time. There's actually a mark on the dial. This is a radium burn. So it's actually burnt the dial. Nice two-tone dial, by the way. So what we do know, with the radium on that dial and radium on the hands and the mark on there, that the dial is all original. And for an original dial from the Second World War time, this is actually very good case is all stainless steel you've got that very modern font on the back the strap is new it's good quality Kokoka strap it inside is the 30t2 movement also used in the dirty dozen cousin of this watch only this one on this this watch doesn't have fixed bars like a military watch does it's regular spring bars so you've got a greater choice of strap 35 mil case feels really well built feels great on the wrist looks good on the wrist so for those of you that play the game of i wonder how much that is i'm going to give you some help this sits below most of the dirty dozen watches but above a regular three-handed amiga of the same time it's a little larger that always increases the price more people will wear a 35 mil than will wear a 32 or 33 for example but where do you pitch it let me know in the comments just say higher or lower and we'll see how good you are but don't give the game away for anyone else to see the price you click the link in that pin comment a very cool piece um more impressed than when I first got it to be honest it's it's grown on me and I've learnt more about the history anyone interested in the second world war and vintage watches this has got to appeal thanks for watching see you again next time